Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jen, and today's video is part of a new series that I call 60 Second Psychology. I'll be talking about a theory, concept, or psychological phenomenon in just 60 seconds. Today's topic, misery loves miserable company. You may have heard the phrase misery loves company, but in social psychology, it's actually more specific than that. Misery loves miserable company. But what does this mean? People naturally affiliate with other people who are going through similar circumstances. Here's why. According to research by social psychologist Stanley Schachter, people like to affiliate most with other people who are in similar circumstances. In 1959, he conducted a study to test the hypothesis that anxiety increases the desire to affiliate. Research participants were told that they would either be receiving a painful shock or a non-painful shock, and they were asked if they wanted to wait alone or with other participants. More high anxiety participants chose to wait together, while low anxiety participants chose to wait alone. In subsequent research, Schachter found that highly anxious participants preferred to wait with other highly anxious participants. But when given the choice to either wait alone or with non-anxious participants, they chose to wait alone instead. High anxiety participants chose being alone over waiting with non-anxious participants. Therefore, the adage, misery loves company, is better stated as misery loves miserable company. In times of anxiety, we want to find others who share our feeling of anxiety. To summarize, misery doesn't just love any company, it loves only miserable company. Have you ever experienced this phenomenon before? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.